Okay. Um, thanks again for all the, uh, thanks for the comments um, on the last video. Especially showing your interest in this idea. Like, people say, you genuinely seem interested in some of, some of you. Um, I definitely think it's, a, it's an idea, a good idea for a generator. I wasn't sure what you guys were wondering uh, specifically. So I could, I made some more notes since I last talked about it. I could, like, go through and explain each area bit by bit. So the general idea is you have a low gravity chamber with salt water that you bring together with a magnetic current into the shape of a sphere. And then you surround it, uh, particularly with something that's going to absorb the heat it gives off. And it doesn't have to be super close to it because the bigger this ball gets, it's going to give off lots and lots more heat up to a point where it starts to give off less as it gets bigger, but still is going to give off so much that it'll be giving off a lot more. Um, the equations <laughs> are here, some of them, just a couple of them. I'm trying to make sense of uh, volume versus surface area, getting an idea of, of how that mean, what that means radially, like due to the radius. You see volume is... Um, it's not as boring as it seems. Volume is 4 thirds pi multiplied by the radius cubed. And uh, the area is 4 pi multiplied by the radius squared. Basically, as it gets bigger, it takes more volume to raise the surface area the same amount, um, I think. So where to start? All right, so it's got to be sealed, this this casing. It doesn't have to be, oh, what, so what I was saying was, sorry, I get sidetracked. So, so this this casing unit that you that you would be surrounding the, the star kind of thing with could be very far away, and it may have to be very far away, but still contain it if you can, because I don't like the idea of static energy in, in the universe and galaxy, and I would, the last thing I would want is the sun to send a giant lightning bolt into this thing because it wasn't protected and insulated so it's got to be insulated but also so you can pass electromagnetic frequency through it because the whole point is you send this you kick the magnet on hold it in place in the middle and then you send the you turn the frequency generator on send a current through it and it's going to ignite it and it's going to give off hydrogen heat which is about 1600 degrees celsius when measured in a laboratory in a test tube and i'm wondering if a giant surface area will actually make it hotter but probably 100, 1,600 degrees Celsius per cubic inch. So, you know, if you get close, it's like you have all these 1,600 degree Celsius areas pointing at you. It gets kind of hot. Um, so you kick the frequency on, light it up. The hydrogen starts giving up hydrogen and chlorine because the sodium uh, and the chlorine from the salt disperse. And uh, so you, chlorine will be the primary waste product here. So I had an idea that you could rinse it with a solution of uh, water and, and sodium, salt water and sodium. And, and if you do that at the proper heat or agitate it in the right way, you might be able to form salt with the sodium and the chlorine that's in here. Um, and then you would wash it and then vacuum out however much volume-wise you don't need. And then you kick the magnet on again, and it's all going to just like warp to the middle in this spherical form and hold there for you. Um, so the panels, best I could come up with, are these quasi-crystals that are just fantastic solar generators. I mean, they really just handle... Look up quasi-crystal if you want to find out more about them. Um, they're really good at, at, at taking electricity and sending it somewhere. Uh, I, I, I thought maybe lead, maybe a lead casing. I don't know if lead's the best metal, though, out to use on this thing. And maybe carbon as a frame, at least. It's very durable and flexible. Oh, what the hell does that say? Experiment with chemicals. Over here, then I started to make some notes. Uh, heavy atom, salt water. It's all kind of the, the, the waste disposal method. Your notes I can Turn on magnet. I think I hit all the marks um, with what I've got so far. 
It doesn't have to be close together. It can be really far spread out, I think. Um, so, yeah, any more questions um, or ideas or anything about it, let me know. My big concern right now is how to transport the energy. Like, it, it's going to be producing a lot. So I don't know what you would use to, to refract that. If you, because like, I keep thinking arc lightning. You could use maybe in space. It wouldn't be so dangerous. But like on the Earth, you know, it's kind of. Then I was thinking like we could send lightning bolts into the ground, or something like that. But yeah, let me know about storage capacity. You could think of. <clears throat>